Welcome everyone. Today I'm presenting our work entitled A Conceptual and Experimental Exploration of Electro Vibration on the Palm and the Body, realized by me, Balkis Fria and Vincent Levesque. Electro vibration modulates the friction experienced by the skin when sliding over a surface. We propose extending electrovibration to clothing, wearables and smart objects that can stimulate different parts of the body other than the fingertip. We first explored the possibility of applying electrovibration through clothing and wearables using flexible contiguous materials and cutted plates and stimulating different parts of the body. We considered two forms of interaction. In the first, users accidentally interact with a piece of clothing or wearable as they move naturally brushing the skin of a part of their body against its electrovibrating inner surface. In the second, users deliberately interact with the clothing or wearable by purposefully moving their body against its electrovibrating inner surface or by running a finger against its electrovibrating outer surface. Our preliminary result revealed that electrovibration is strongest on the palm and the fingertip and slightly weaker on the wrist. The arms, neck and tights produce more subtle sensations and occasionally an unpleasant tingling. Also sensations produced by natural movement of the body against an electrovibrating wearable are difficult to distinguish from other tactile cues. A key funding from our exploration of electrovibration on clothing and wearables was that, was that the palm seems to respond quite strongly to electrovibration. We therefore decided to further explore interactive concepts in which the palm naturally brushes against the surface of everyday objects, namely a keyboard. We considered again two forms of interaction with a keyboard, accidental interactions and deliberate interactions. A more detailed study comparing the tactile perception of electrovibration on the palm and the fingertip is necessary to better understand the capabilities of electrovibrating keyboard proposed. We therefore conducted a psychophysical study to compare the perception of electrovibration on the fingertip and the palm. We used a one-up, two-down adaptive staircase, staircase method to determine the absolute detection threshold of electrovibration at five frequencies and two hand locations, fingertip and palm. Our results reveal no statistically significant effect on hand region on the tactile perception of electrovibration. We conclude that the palm is very sensitive to electrovibration and that our concept of an electrovibrating keyboard should produce a strong and rich tactile sensations. 